Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy. We are discussing uh, motion in one dimension and this is lecture number 4. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 3 before watching this part 4. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about uh, average uh, speed and thereafter we will discuss about the uh, acceleration and many more. So, let us start the topic today that is average speed. So, what is an average speed? Let me explain this first. Average speed. Average speed. What is this? Average speed is defined as. It is defined as. Defined as the ratio of. The ratio of. Total distance traveled. Total distance travel to the total time taken to the total time taken time taken in the journey in the journey right so average speed is therefore average speed is equal to average speed is equal to total distance travel total distance traveled that is total path length total path length right now total distance traveled upon total time taken total time taken this is the average speed so some more shortcut idea about the average speed is that is very useful for calculation uh, somewhere uh, if it is given that average speed is uh, like when a body has equal interval of time or equal distances so let me write here a few tips that is at easy tricks tricks you know so here if a body travels if a body travels travels equal distance edge distance edge in equal distance edge with speed different speed say with the speed of u kilometer per hour and v kilometer per hour respectively then average speed is speed of the journey is then average speed is equal to 2 u v upon u plus v kilometer per hour 2 u v upon u plus v kilometer per hour Similarly, that is that can be also remember as 2 upon 1 by u plus 1 by v. Right? Then? Velocity average is equal to 2 u v upon 1 by that. After calculating this, this will come like 2 u v upon u plus v. The second point is there. If a body travels with the speed of with the speed of the speed of u kilometer per hour u kilometer per hour and v kilometer per hour for equal interval of time for equal interval of time interval of equal interval of time then average velocity is equal to velocity is equal to u plus v by 2 kilometer per hour u plus v by 2 kilometer per hour that is velocity average is u 
plus V by 2. Right now? So, you can remember like this. In these two uh, points, what is the difference? You can understand that here is time intervals are equal. Equal interval of time. That is, this is the important point. Equal interval of time. Here time intervals are equal. You know? And uh, in this one, so if equal interval of time, then u plus v by 2. And if equal distance is, then it will be 2 upon 1 by u plus 1 by v or 2 uv upon u plus v. This is uh, basically harmonic mean. Harmonic mean uh, will be taken. Whereas uh, when time interval are equal, equal interval of time, then arithmetic mean can be taken. Similarly, for three different speed, you may write again it like uh, if there is a third point like if a body travels with the speed of the speed of x kilometer per hour, y kilometer per hour, and z kilometer per hour. Travel with the speed for equal distance h. Equal distance h. Then average speed of the body is equal to of the body is equal to equal to velocity average is equal to what three x y z upon x y plus y z plus z x kilometer per hour 3 x y z upon y plus z plus x or in simplified way you can say average velocity is, average velocity can be also described as 3 upon 1 by u plus 1 by 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z here velocity are 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by j kilometer per hour. This is harmonic mean. This is harmonic. So velocity average is this. But if time interval are equal, then also and whenever time interval are equal, whenever if body travels with x kilometer per hour, y kilometer per hour and z kilometer per hour for equal interval of time for equal interval of time of time then velocity average is equal to x plus y plus z by kilometer per hour. So whenever time interval are equal then we have to take arithmetic mean. Whenever equal distances are to be taken then body has to then you have to take harmonic mean. Just uh, writing one question, one numerical question to explain this. If a body travels from Delhi to Agra, Delhi to Agra with the speed of with the speed of 20 km per hour and return back with the speed of with the speed of 30 km per hour then what is the average speed of the whole journey what is the average speed of whole journey, whole journey, right, this is the question, so as per the trick, we can write, as per trick, we can write answer, solution, as per according to trick, the velocity average is, average is 2 uv upon u plus v, that is 2 into 20 into 30 upon 20 plus 30. 
which is 50. So this will be nothing else 3 to the 6 or uh, even we can write 2 into 20 into 30 whole divided by 50. 20 plus 30 is 50. So you can write this 5 4 is 20. 4 3 is 12. 12 into 2 is 24 kilometer per hour. But let's just do this question with the concept as well so that it, it will be crystal clear and you will be able to understand this. Let conceptual concept. Let distance between Delhi and Agra. Distance between Delhi and Agra. Agra is x kilometer. Right. So time taken in forward journey, then time taken in forward journey, time taken in forward journey, forward journey, that is OH, journey that is T1 say, distance upon speed and distance is x kilometer and speed is 20 kilometer per hour. So this is the time in which person can move from Delhi to Agra. Also, the time taken in return journey, time taken in return journey, return journey, journey T2 is equal to x upon 30 kilometer per hour, 30 hours because the speed is 30, right? So total time taken, thus the total distance travel, thus the total distance travel, total distance travel will be each x kilometer in forward journey and x kilometer in return journey that is 2x kilometer and total time taken and total time taken in return journey in journey journey is t1 plus t2 that is x by 20 plus x by 30 hours which is equal to nothing else but uh, LCM is 60 and 3 plus 2 5 5 by 60 that is 1 by 12 hour right now as per the definition therefore average speed average speed is equal to total distance travel total distance travel upon total time ticket total time ticket and here uh, this is x by this so it will be x is common and so it will be x x by 12 it will be better to write x by 12 hours x by 12 hours right okay so here the total distance travel is 2x and total time taken is x by 12 so x x cancel 12 will come this side and 12 into 2 is 24 so 24 kilometer per hour and this is the average speed what we have derived with the tricks as well this is the same answer you know so you can do this now consider the another question and which a man drives a car at rate of 20 kilometer per hour for 5 hours and at rate of 30 kilometer per hour for another 5 hours. 5 hours. What is the average speed? Average speed of journey. So, so if you will solve by trick then what will be the answer according to trick
adopted average speed is equal to velocity of average speed is equal to what u plus v by 2 u plus v by 2 because here the time intervals are equal 5 kilo hour and 5 hours so 20 plus 30 we divided by 2 that is 50 by 2 25 kilometer per hour this is the average speed now as per question if you go with the concept then what will happen concept with the concept the distance travel distance travel in 5 hour hours at rate of 20 km per hour distance is equal to speed into time 20 into 5 is 100 km the distance travel Again, the distance traveled, traveled in next 5 hours, 5 hours at rate of 30 km per hour is equal to 30 into 5 that is 150 km. So, therefore, the total distance traveled travel in the journey in journey is equal to 100 plus 150 kilometer right that is 250 kilometer so 250 kilometer the total time taken is the total time taken time taken in journey the total time taken in journey journey is 5 plus 5 is 10 hours now the average therefore average speed is equal as per replacement the total distance travel total distance travel upon total time taken total time taken and therefore it will be 250 divided by 10 0 0 cancel and this is 25 km per hour so whatever the same question is there even if 5 power and 5 power it is 25 kilometer per hour so whenever time intervals are equal the speed will be arithmetic average speed can be obtained as arithmetic mean and when distances are equal then average speed can be calculated by harmonic mean one one important point to remember to change kilometer per hour into meter per second multiply multiply by 5 by 18 since 1 kilometer per hour and all since 1 kilometer per hour is 1 kilometer upon 1 hour there is nothing else but 1 kilometer upon 1 hour 1 kilometer upon 1 hour that is 1000 meter upon 1 hour is 60 into 60 seconds and what is that 20 and 20 cancel and 10 by 36 meter by second that is 5 by 80 meter per second so that is why to change kilometer per hour into meter per second what you need to do multiply by 5 by 18 and conversely to change meter per second into kilometer per hour multiply by by 18 by 5 remember this so these are the two important points you must remember this no? and 
this will be very good. Now there is another point that is called acceleration. What is this acceleration? What is this? When velocity changes, then acceleration produces. If there is no change in velocity, no acceleration is produced. So whenever there is a change in velocity, acceleration is produced. Whenever there is change in velocity, change in velocity, acceleration is produced. Acceleration sort this is let me write from people. Acceleration in short we will write that for the acceleration like this acceleration is produced when velocity increases when velocity increases then acceleration is said to be positive then acceleration produced in the body is said to be positive said to be positive positive and when the velocity of body velocity of body decreases then the acceleration produced in the body produced in the body is said to be negative is said to be negative negative that is right so acceleration can be whatever body Whenever the velocity changes, whether it is positive or negative, whether it increases or decreases, acceleration produces every time. You know, whether acceleration changes, positive, that is velocity increases or velocity decreases. In motorcycle, you have seen there is a one uh, uh, part in right hand called accelerator. And whenever you increase the speed, you turn it, then velocity increases. Similarly, when car, if you are driving a car, then on right hand foot of car, there is a paddle. After pushing it, the velocity of car increases. So that is called accelerator. Those which will accelerate means increase the velocity. So that is why the name is given accelerator. So accelerator is an instrument which will accelerate means increase the velocity. So increases the velocity in unit interval of time that is called acceleration so the change in velocity the change in velocity velocity in unit interval of time interval of time time is called acceleration acceleration or even the better way to say the rate of change of velocity rate of change of velocity velocity of a moving body of a moving body is called an acceleration is called an acceleration let a body is moving with initial velocity let let a body is moving with initial velocity velocity u meter per second And after time t, time t, its velocity 
becomes v meter per second then change in velocity in time interval t then change in velocity velocity in time t t is v minus e final minus addition and rate of change change that is changes in one time unit time so it must be divided by change of velocity is v minus u by t but rate of change of velocity is called an acceleration isn't it but rate of change of velocity change of velocity is an acceleration a so therefore a is equal to v minus u by t or even v minus u is equal to a t and equal to u plus a t this is also called first equation of motion right this is a formula for acceleration and this one is described as the first equation of motion right okay where v is called final velocity v is final velocity velocity u is initial velocity initial velocity and a is acceleration a is acceleration and t is time a is acceleration and t is in time interval time interval right so this is what v is equal to u plus a t the negative acceleration if velocity is decreases the acceleration is said to be negative acceleration the negative acceleration is also called acceleration is also called retardation retardation or deceleration deceleration right so this is one important point so now we have to understood the acceleration in terms of velocity so if uh, you can write say v1 at time t1 velocity at time t2 and velocity changes v2 at time t2 then change in velocity is equal to if let's write here if a body has velocity v1 velocity v1 at time t1 and v2 at time t2 at time t2 then change in velocity velocity is v2 minus v1 and rate of change of velocity and the rate of change of velocity velocity interval v2 minus v1 upon t2 minus t1 so this is acceleration in a standard form can be written like this a is equal to v2 minus v1 upon t2 minus t1 i hope you got it so therefore in velocity time graph slope in velocity time graph time graph slope of the curve gives the acceleration acceleration we can prove it graphically as well and see here i am plotting the graph 
So let us consider velocity h of v1 at v1. This is time axis and velocity at v2 at t2. This is a velocity v2 and this is a velocity v1 and this is a time t1 and this is time t2. So interval uh, difference of interval of time is t2 minus t1 and difference of velocity is v2 minus v1. And uh, if this is theta, that will be also theta because these are corresponding angles and corresponding angles are same. Theta, these two are corresponding angle and these two are also corresponding angle, so they are same. So if uh, we want to find a slope uh, at any this point, there is slope is tan theta and this tan theta is same. So if I will write here tan theta, then what will happen? Tan theta in this triangle is in this right angle triangle is v2 minus v1 upon t2 minus t1 and that is m is equal to slope slope is v2 minus v1 upon t2 minus t1 but this slope is also defined as but but this one is called slope and slope is what v2 minus v1 but we know v2 minus v1 is equal to t2 upon t2 minus t1 is an expression so um, but we know that this is an acceleration so slope is nothing nothing else but acceleration so in velocity time graph in velocity time graph city time graph slope at any point any point on the curve on the curve represent represent acceleration at that point at that point okay that point of time that point of time you know? so this is what and acceleration can be positive can be negative can be zero acceleration can be zero in case of uniform speed or uniform velocity uniform motion so during uniform motion acceleration is zero why zero because if you see the graph of this say this is velocity time curve say this is a time and uh, graph will be like this is a velocity so here slope is zero two parallel lines are zero velocity is v right now and time is t here time velocity is increases this set and here slope is slope is zero and therefore acceleration is zero so in velocity time graph here slope is zero so acceleration is zero slope is positive then acceleration is positive positive acceleration if slope is negative then acceleration is negative so instantaneous acceleration is the same like velocity so instantaneous acceleration there is one more term so no instantaneous acceleration it is similar like instantaneous velocity the acceleration for acceleration at any instant of time any instant of time is called expression instantaneous expression and this is defined as dA is equal to dV by dt dA is equal to or A is equal to delta I even you can say dV by dt similar like what we have learned from for velocity here rate of change of velocity is called an expression so that is why we will write like this I hope you got this point right now so instantaneous acceleration is nothing else but the rate of change of instantaneous velocity I hope you got this right okay so this is all about uh, today and we will discuss the rest of the topic tomorrow that is in next class and till then um, God bless you keep watching and uh, revise all those four lessons which uh, we have discussed till now. God bless.